Welcome to the Tap Out Training Series. Today's tip focuses on upper body strength. Now, one of the key upper body strengthening exercises that everybody should be doing is the chin up. The problem is a lot of people neglect this exercise in their program because it is tough. Now, you could squat and bench press the entire weight room, but you still may not be able to do a single chin up. That means you need to get stronger in relation to your body weight. So I'm going to show you how to perform a proper chin up and then I will show you two exercises you could do if you are not able to perform a regular chin up at this point in time. So first thing, a little trick to performing a chin up is a lot of people think about trying to pull their chin to the bar. But to activate our lats and the musculature of our upper back, what you want to focus on is pulling your elbows to the floor. So instead of chin to the bar, I'm going to grab the bar and I'm going to think elbows to the floor and slightly behind my upper body. I'm not going to pull out in front. I'm going to pull my elbows down and back. I'm going to take a neutral grip because it's easiest on the shoulders, but you could do underhand, overhand, or neutral. I'm going to start from the bottom position. I'm going to hang for a second, get control, and then I'm going to think elbows to the floor and back down. When you think that downward pull, you will activate the muscles of your upper back to a much greater degree. Now, if you can't do a single chin up or you can only do one or two, a little trick you could do to get stronger at chin-ups is jump up on the chin-up bar and just hold as long as you can. So jump and just hold. Once you could do that for one to two sets of 30 seconds, the next progression would be jump up and lower yourself in five to 10 seconds. These are called eccentric chin-ups. And you want the lowering to be nice and steady the entire time. When you get to the bottom, you could step on a bench or a box and then jump back up. So incorporate those variations into your training. And I'll see you next week for another tip.